the brain, unlike our other organs, is pretty underdeveloped when it comes out. And it's absolutely dependent on what it encounters on its ride to full development. Babies aren't born smart, they're made smart. In the first three years of life, 80 to 85% of a baby's brain will be grown. At no other time of life is the brain so active and so robust and so impactful. At the very crux of that brain growth is parent talk and parent interaction. When words and language, it's not just about words, words are a metaphor for the richness of a language environment or the learning environment. And when those words and interaction are flowing into a child's brain, the brain is incredibly active, uh, creating some 700 to 1,000 new connections every second. And it creates a really very sort of strong, robust neural circuitry, which is the foundation for all thinking and learning. So, you know, while yes, you don't stop at the age of three, then you have to continue learning, but it's those first three to five years of life that form the foundation for all of our learning. And if you build a very robust foundation, you're gonna learn much better. If you build a fairly weak, or mediocre foundation, it's gonna be much, much more difficult. And that's why these first few years of life are so critical. So the 30 Million Words Initiative is a translational research program, developing evidence-based programs working with parents and caregivers uh, across the first three years of life to help really close what we call the achievement gap or the opportunity gap. And what our program does is really allow parents to understand the powerful science, the science that really shows that they are the key architects of their children's brain development, and then the easy to use strategies, something that we call the three T's uh, to, to build their children's brains. And what are the three T's? Tune in, talk more, take turns. Tuning in is just really following your child's lead, seeing what your child's interested in. Talk more is just as it sounds, talking about it, using rich vocabulary, and then taking turns, viewing your baby as a conversational partner from day one. The take turns part of the three T's is sometimes the biggest jump for parents to make because they say, you know, how can I have a conversation with my baby? They can't even talk yet. But once parents really understand that learning how to talk, beginning that conversation, is responding to every coo, babble, gesture, uh, even burp, and that's how you get children uh, ready for having a real conversation. So I guess if you're at home with your baby before they go off into the wild, you have the opportunity for tremendous positive impact. Of course, you know, the flip side is if you're born into a home with not a lot of language or the language is angry or toxic, uh, the impacts are quite negative and long term. One of my collaborators, uh, the behavioral economist John List, often says, not since the dark ages have we left so much human potential on the table. You know, a layman's term way of saying it is, there are too many children being left behind. These aren't just children, they are the future adults of our country. This is something that's going to impact us for generations. So if we don't do it for the right and moral thing, we'll do it for the pragmatic thing, uh, because this is about the future of our country.